Wow, 10 years ago, this should not have been possible. I never imagined I would be here today, standing on the biggest stage at a global cloud conference, speaking to hundreds of top IT professionals way smarter than me. If you had told me back then, stuck in a dead end job, miserable and without purpose, that this would be my life, I would have said you are shitting me. But my journey is not just my story. I want to share the steps I took, steps you can follow to break free and build the career of your dreams. You see, I was a skinny, shy kid from India, always self-deprecating, with zero confidence, constantly doubting myself. At home, things were not stable. There was a time when neither of my parents had a job and we had to live humbly, stretching every rupee. In school, I worked hard. I believed education could be my way out. I made it to a tier three college in India and not even for computer science. Back then, I thought this would be good enough for a decent career, but I had no idea how much that choice would hold me back. After graduating, I landed in legacy technology, specifically mainframes. Outdated and pretty boring. But I threw myself into the job, thinking hard work would be enough. But every day while I sat in an office maintaining systems older than some of my coworkers, I would read about exciting cloud projects and watch younger developers succeed while I felt stuck. The world was spinning forward, leaving me behind. And this was not just with my career, it was my life. I was working hard on all the wrong things, watching others make the right moves, getting richer, traveling, building connections, while I was constantly burned out and depressed. The worst part? I knew I was unhappy, but I was filled with limiting beliefs. I was the primary financial supporter for my family and the idea of making changes felt really impossible. I felt like this was as good as it got. It was easier to keep ignoring my wants and stay in my comfort zone. So the pain only grew. Cloud architects had the freedom I dreamed of, picking high impact projects, making great money, but for me, I was getting older. If I stayed in mainframe, I knew I would lock myself into an unfulfilling, irrelevant path. But one day, I got offered a promotion in my mainframe project. Slightly better pay, slightly more recognition. For most people, this would have been a win. But that was my wake up call. I could not shake the feeling that this was not success. It was just a shinier version of the same dead end path I have been walking for years. And I realized right then that I had to make a choice, comfort or change. That promotion forced me to confront a truth I have been avoiding for years. In tech, there are two types of professionals. The first, like me, were grinding away at dying technologies, working harder but falling farther behind. The second were taking bold steps into growing fields, learning relevant skills, and leveling up not just their careers, but their entire lives. And here I was, stuck in mainframes, getting better at something fewer and fewer companies ever needed. No matter how hard I worked, I could not outpace the shrinking value of this dying legacy technology market. I had to face the truth and make a choice. Take the promotion and stay on this path or finally take the leap I have been too scared to make. So I did something no one expected. I turned down the promotion. I left mainframes, the only things I have known for over a decade and started fresh in cloud computing. It was not easy. I had to start from scratch missing promotions and pay raises along the way. But I would rather be a beginner in the right field than an expert in a dying one. And what came next tested me in ways I could never expect. It taught me lessons 
I wish I have known earlier. You see, here is where most people go wrong when transitioning to cloud. They aim straight for the $300,000, $400,000 big tech roles without a clear strategy. I knew I could not afford to make that mistake. So I would tell myself not to boil the ocean but to start small. Switching fields is not easy. It is scary and you won't get everything right the first time. But the key is to start anywhere that gets you hands-on experience. I was ready to take on any project, no matter how small. And honestly, those first few months were embarrassing. I had to ask basic questions, work on smaller scale projects, and watch as my former peers progressed and led teams. I did not start with fancy AWS areas like serverless or machine learning right away. I started small, focusing on foundational tools like EC2, S3, and IAM. My first win came when I migrated a sample mainframe program to AWS, shifting from JCL to EC2. It was not flashy, but it worked, and that small success boosted my confidence, proving I was on the right track. But then I landed my first proper cloud project. For the first time in years, I felt genuinely excited about my work. And that spark of excitement grew with each project. My skills were not random anymore. They were compounding, creating a solid foundation. For the first time, I did not feel stuck. There was a clear path forward. That's when I discovered something essential about cloud careers. You do not need a computer science degree or be the smartest person in the room. What matters is understanding how to break down complex problems in a practical, proven way. Another secret I learned was not everyone speaks tech. To executives, I had to talk strategy. To engineers, I had to dive into technical details. Once I harnessed technical expertise with strong communication skills, everything changed. Higher management started trusting me with more cloud projects. And finally, I got promoted as a cloud architect and eventually made it to Amazon as a solutions architect. I developed a system to learn and grow in cloud, a framework I wish I had when I started. And you know what? Once I started applying this framework, things began to accelerate, not just in my career, but in every part of life. I realized that when you take control of your career trajectory, you unlock opportunities you never thought possible. Here is what I mean. I went from maintaining outdated legacy systems to designing official AWS reference architectures from being stuck in a dying technology to becoming a principal AWS solutions architect. From feeling trapped and isolated to traveling, connecting with incredible people and speaking at global conferences. From struggling to write basic code on cloud to becoming a best-selling author of cloud courses and designing world-scale projects impacting millions. From being that shy, skinny kid to being in the best physical, mental, and emotional shape of my life and providing security for my family. But my favorite part? Helping others also make this transformation. Over the years, I have worked with thousands of students who thought they had every reason to fail. Some believed they were too old to start over. Others worried they did not have a computer science degree or enough technical background. Many thought all their existing experience was throwaway and could not be used to transition into cloud. But together we made it happen. These students landed life-changing roles at FANG and other incredible companies, switched careers from non-technical jobs and even earned major promotions in their current workplaces, all using the exact same framework I teach. So, if any of this resonates with you, 
If you are feeling stuck in a job that does not excite you or you are doubting your potential, I want you to know you can break free and I want to help you. The hardest part is getting started. Avoid analysis paralysis. Do not let overthinking stop you. Take one small step rather than doing nothing at all. Many spend months debating whether to learn AWS, Azure or GCP. Instead, pick one and dive in. A simple rule to follow is to learn the cloud your company is adopting. Or start with AWS. It is still the biggest and offers countless opportunities. Do not chase shiny tools like GenAI or advanced machine learning at the start. Focus on the fundamentals, compute, storage, networking, and security. Then build on that foundation steadily. Spend time learning every week. No matter how small, it adds up. I was not an exceptional student, just someone who worked hard and stayed consistent. If I can do it, so can you. I did the hard way so you do not have to. Are you ready to transform your career in months without having to waste your time memorizing every service or every kind of system design? You can start making an average $200,000 per year and over $400,000 per year in big tech. I will give you the real deal of what you really need to know to make it as an SA in the top tech companies in the world. Don't miss the chance to change your life and career in 2025. Click the link in the description to attend the upcoming webinar to get all the details and get started. Let's do this.